today's card is a Halloween card using a Halloween stamp, some Halloween dazzles, and some dark room elements. So we have from the dark room collection papers and die cuts, as well as some sparkly papers. So let's uh, take a closer look at the supplies and then we can get started. Today I'll be working with some spooky dazzles, some of this brown holographic fireworks paper. I also have this Haunted Houses small stamp or Happy Haunting and two dark room products. We have the dark room paper pack. I'll just thumb through this really quick. It's double sided. Some really pretty prints on here and a really rich and vintage inspired color palette love the camera theme and that stripe is awesome so we have a dark room paper pack there's a look at the back here and the dark room die cuts and this comes with two identical sheets and as you can see there's a lot of different sizes and shapes um, to work with so these and it comes with two identical sheets one on the front one on the back all right so let's get started so here i have the blank side step card and it's already got these cut and scored lines on it so i'm going to go ahead and assemble it so i'm going to you can choose which side you want your stair steps to be on so if you want your steps to be on the right side you'd hold it like this and then if you want it to be on the left side just flip it over and fold it that way so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to mountain fold this big area. And I want to mountain fold this top score line. If you can see that. And then just do an accordion with the rest of them. And they fold up just like that. See? There's a side view, front view, other side view, back view. Alright, so now I can trace the shapes and cover them with paper and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I finished covering my card with paper. So for these two panels I've used that striped paper and across the bottom I've used that brown paper with the shutter pattern on it. And then I also uh, used part of the film strip paper. I used the corner, as you can see there's this big hole here. Um, so that the swirl was kind of in this corner. But now I'm going to make a stamped piece using this haunty, Happy Haunting stamp to put on this panel right here. Alright, so I've stamped and embossed the Happy Haunting on this teal paper and matted it on the brown. Just a thin border. And then I've got these two die cuts glued on. Put some foam tape on the back. And I'm going to put it right on my card. Right about there. Okay, so now I'm going to add a few more dazzles and things to my card. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I've gone ahead and finished the card. Back here I have one of the large label die cuts and the boo I backed with this uh, brown um, firework holographic paper. And you'll see those different elements I also backed with the same. So I've got the jack-o'-lantern, spooky, and this fun bat here all backed with that as well as this strip going along the bottom. And the rest is just dazzles placed. I've got the uh, wrought iron fence along the bottom some stars, bats, a spider. Here's another spider with some stars and more stars just to fill in the blank areas. And that is my happy hunting card. And there you go, it's standing up. It's kind of a display, so you can choose whether or not you to do an inside greeting, but it's kind of meant to be on display. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for today's bundle, and thanks for watching. First in the bundle we have the darkroom die cuts. And there's lots of different images on here. There's cameras, there's some film, there's kind of a film strip type cutout or die cut, and these little pieces pop out too. And it gives you two sheets. 
so there's 64 die cuts total. And we also have the dark room paper pack. It's double sided, so there's 12 sheets in the paper pack. This is the lovely first page. On the back of that is some green textured pattern. Then we have some text, really pretty on a brown background. There's two, um, there's a tiny text and a larger scripty text layered on top, followed by the yellow and gold kind of uh, marble pattern. Very tiny tile print on the back of burgundy version. I like this one with the cameras across the bottom. It's very vintage looking with a tiny text. And on the back, a brown marble looking texture. Then we have a sort of a teal. These are tiny little irises uh, or shutters or whatever you want to call them. So they're really cute in that dot pattern. And a yellow on the back with kind of a tile pattern as well. And finally we have the stripe. And I just love all the colors together on this stripe and another burgundy tile on the back. And here on the back is your scrapbooking spread idea. We've got the card front and inside. And here are all images of the papers and other products that go with this collection. We also have a small stamp and this is the Haunted House small stamp and it says Happy haunting. It's really nice in detail. It's got a couple bats flying around with the moon over on the side, so it's really cute for Halloween. And of course, we have something shiny. This is this is the fireworks holographic paper, and there's two sheets of them, and they're in brown, so it's kind of a coppery look to them, but very shiny and fun. And of course, we have some dazzles. So these are the spooky dazzles. Here are the images. Let's eat candy, boo, eat, drink, and be scary. And a fun uh, fence line border there. Kind of a wrought iron look. You can use it facing up or you can use it facing down just like in that card example. And here are some instructions on the back. Alright, so those are all the items in today's bundle. Thanks so much for joining me, and please see me again next week with another fun project.